Alright, back again Luke here, and today what I thought we could do is uh, something maybe a little bit not so common, and that is uh, an on-video kind of unboxing. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I figured we could do it today. I've just received this package here in the mail from the Netherlands, and uh, I've already opened it up, so it'll be a little bit easier to see what's inside this. Uh, this box here came from a YouTuber who goes by the name of Mr. Fixer1983. And if you guys remember a while back when I put up that video on the Amiga, the Amiga 500, not kind of reading discs, it would play a few discs, but it didn't really want to kick in and play all of them. It was having a lot of trouble. Uh, Mr. Fixer1983, he actually does a lot of PC repair and a lot of the older, um, like, gaming stuff. I think it's like Commodore and Amiga and all sorts of different stuff. And he said, yeah, I have some extra parts if you're interested. Uh, just, you know, shoot me over your address and I'll see what I can do. And I was like, whoa, that would be awesome, you know, because trying to find Amiga parts are pretty scarce, especially in Japan. Oh, he's got a letter in here. So let's see here. Wow. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Luke. Uh, first of all, thank you for your videos on YouTube. Sorry for my bad English. I will try to do my best to write a nice note for you. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. In this box, I have some great Commodore Amiga 500 stuff for you. I donate this stuff because of the last video you uploaded about the great Amiga 500 home computer. <laughs> and you had some problems with your Amiga uh, to play some games. In this box, you will find what you need to make your Amiga 500 up and running. Wow. To play all the great games that you can find on this machine. You will find, all right, and he's got all the stuff listed in here. I put in some extras too. I hope you will like it. Uh, about the extras, the thing in the bag are called pepper noten, uh, pepper nuts, and chocolate letter. Those are from old Dutch uh, tradition for children called Sinterklaas, oh, Sa oh, which means Santa Claus. Also, you'll find old ar an old arcade controller. Maybe you can use it. Wow, that is pretty awesome. I didn't even look at the stuff that's in here on the list because I don't want to spoil it even for myself. So, what do you say we just jump in here and see what's inside this box? I'm really excited. You know, when I uh, got that Amiga up and running, I was so blown away by the Turrican, uh, Turrican 2 music. I know a lot of you guys have heard it time and time again, but... It was awesome. All right, so the first thing here, ta -da! we have a mouse. We have the uh, Amiga mouse, so now I can actually start up some of the games. This is awesome. This is so cool. Look at that thing. That's massive. <laughs> so we got an Amiga mouse here, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, check out some more games, do some more gaming. That is a key part that I needed. All right, along with the, uh, what is this, AS, uh, oh, the Amiga 500 floppy drive, and this one says it's working, so, fantastic, look at that monster, that is cool, so, we, we got a new floppy drive here, so we can try to install this one, and hopefully be able to get some games to play a little bit better, that is too cool, really digging this, this is uh, another key part, awesome, got some bubble wrap, what in the heck is this? Milk. And it says... <laughs> says Luke on it. <laughs> ah, this is the chocolate letter, huh? Oh, nice. It's like a chocolate letter L. That's cool. I thought it was like a chocolate letter, and I'm thinking like, how are you going to fit a chocolate letter in there? You know, what is it? Like all carved and sketched in there, and, you know, you have to... I don't know. If it breaks, you have to piece it back together to read what it says. I... <laughs> I didn't know it was like a letter letter. That is awesome. Nice. <laughs> now it's like, what do I do? I'm torn between eating the letter and putting the letter on the wall. Wait a minute. No, it's food. I might as well eat it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, nice. Amiga 512 kilobyte. Or no. What is that? 512 memory? Okay, for JP1 port. Wow, this is pretty cool. I It says, okay, yeah, 512K. Nice. Looks like there was a battery in there for some strange reason. I don't know if that's, uh, that's kind of something that this used at one point or if it saved progress or something. 3.6 volt battery. I suppose we could put a new battery in that. That is awesome, though. I don't think this thing has any memory in it. Maybe it has a little memory. I don't know. I really don't know anything much about... Uh, the Amiga here, so any of you guys out there uh, who know about what this monster here does, that would be cool to know. Awesome! 
So this should be able to play more games then? I'm not sure. I think somebody was talking about it once before. All right. Look at this. It's a uh, it's an arcade stick. <laughs> I've never seen one of these before either. Is that what the original uh, Amiga kind of joysticks look like? They have this oh. kind of <laughs> one button in the middle. That is pretty smooth. Well, that'll kind of work out a lot better than the Maybe the Mega Drive joystick will, or the Mega Drive pad. Cool stuff! We'll give that a shot, and plug that in, and test some of that. And, my goodness, what is this? Here is a box with a key attached to the top of it, which looks like it's filled with discs. Let's see. This is awesome! Wow! This thing's just packed with stuff! What is this? Puzzle. Uh, what is this? Apedia? Shoot 'em up? Shadow of the Beast? Hybris? Jeez, there's a whole ton of games in here. Oh, the Gianna Sisters, Turrican 2, Gods, Dino Blasters, what was the other one? Nikki 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 Bomb? Platformer, Prehistoric, Barbarian, Adam's Family. Battle Scrumman, Turrican, Chaos Engine, Lemmings. Holy mackerel, is this like, uh, what, a quarter of the games that have come out on it? This is too cool. Ninja Remix. This, this whole thing's just packed. Just check that out. Garrison, Disposable Heroes, Degeneration, Warzone, Skater Die. Wow, I didn't even know Skater Die was on here. Prince of Persia, Mission Impossible, Navy Seals, Nebulous, Galaxy. Beyond the Ice, Blues Brothers, Power Sticks, Shadow Dancer. Wow. All right. Arkanoid 2, Jumping Jackson, R-Type, Gauntlet 2, Marble Madness, Rambo 3. I hope that's not like, <laughs> I hope that's not like Rambo for the, uh, the MSX, because that was a rough one. That's really hard to play. My goodness, man. That is too cool. Look at that. That is just a massive collection of uh, discs here. And uh, inside a case, that's really too much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. It says Amiga 1 on the front here. That is going to come in really handy, especially getting a chance to uh, try out a ton more games. You know, I have a, a few dozen games as well, but what in the... What? What is up with that? Check that out, guys. Look at this. Looks like this thing's been modded a little bit. This is a uh, Street Fighter, yeah, Street Fighter 4 wrestling, uh, wrestle joystick. Compatible with PS3, PS2, and PC. Ha! Huh. So is this thing, uh, what has this thing been modded into? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it looks like uh, that's the, the cable slot there for something like where the cable used to go through. Well, that can definitely come in handy. You know what? I think I'm going to have to uh, maybe pick up Super Street Fighter 4 here for my uh, Taito X2 and then wire this guy in there. That is awesome. Looks like it's uh, definitely it's been a project piece here, but that is not a problem. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Sweet! Some more goodies here. More projects. I love it. Got projects galore. And last up is this massive. Let's take this out of here. This massive thing of uh, cookies. It says, uh, what is it? Creed, Creed, Creed Noten? <laughs> I know it's really bad. Sorry, I apologize for that. But it looks like a bunch of cookies or something. That is awesome. And the thing weighs a ton. How much is this? I mean, how many, was it 750 grams? <laughs> that's, a, that's a beast right there. Nice. So I've got all this awesome stuff here to go with the, uh, the old Amiga. Got to try and get this thing powered back up here and uh, working again so I can do some gaming on it. I've got it sitting right here. It's been waiting for some... Uh, new help to try and get everything all you know wired into it and hopefully I can get this drive and everything working really nicely with it I guess uh, 
So the uh, the mouse plugs into joystick controller one. I guess that's the way it works, right, guys? So last time I think I wound up plugging in um, the Mega Drive controller into controller port one because I saw it, it just said like one joystick. If you've never owned one of these before, I suppose it could be a, a simple mistake. But I just thought, wow, that's really weird that it didn't work. But so this one goes into one, and then the uh, the other joystick here would go into two, and we should be able to play some of that. Nice! Well guys, I just want to share with you a little bit of a look at uh, some awesome stuff here by Mr. Fixer 1983. Super nice, and very kind, and uh, I'm very thankful of all this and hopefully we'll be able to put it all together here and do some Amiga vids. And I know that uh, I, I have a lot of, um, you know, wiring and whatever I have to do, but this is going to be a lot of fun. So. We'll get on that, and hopefully sometime here soon we'll do some uh, Amiga stuff. I still have a lot of different stuff. You guys know that the projects, they just pile up. Still have the, um, uh, what is it, Pole Position 2 board I need to fix up. and uh, I'm working on my Atomus Wave because that's that's got some issues now, and I can't make any videos on that. And, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so... Thanks for watching. Whee! As you guys can see in the background, you guys have probably been uh, zoning out here, checking out this. This is the old Super Famicom box. It's just rolling in the background. This thing is still a lot of fun to play. It's going through demo mode right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this thing before. Hotel only release. Super Famicom box up there.